Hey everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to make sunglasses for a stuffed animal. The possibilities are endless and they're perfect for summer, so let's get started! I'm going to start by cutting out the frame of my sunglasses. I'm just using some thin cardboard for this, and I'm grabbing this little pattern I made for a Beanie Boo. I'm going to link the patterns down below. I have sizes for Beanie Boos and Build-A-Bears, and I made them in a few different designs. These won't fit all stuffed animals perfectly, so I would just hold them up to your stuffed animal's face before cutting these out, and then just make any adjustments. But right now I'm just grabbing my pattern and tracing it onto this cardboard, and then I can just cut it out. The next part is a little harder, and that's cutting out the center of the sunglasses. You can use an X-Acto knife if you're comfortable with it, but I'm just going to be using scissors. I basically just put this on a softer surface and tried poking my scissors through. That way I could get kind of an opening going without having to fold it in half. And once I have that, I kind of went in a spiral shape to cut this out. And for me, the key was to take out a little bit of the center first, and then cut the rest out as close to the lines as possible so you get the shape you want. Once you've cut most of the inside out, it gets a lot harder to trim around the edges. It's just hard to make it even at that point, that's why it's best to get it on the first try. After that, I'm going to cut out what's apparently called the temples of the sunglasses. I'm of course cutting out two of those. Now that all the framework for the sunglasses are cut out, I'm going to be painting all these pieces yellow. Don't ask me why, but I always just imagine these to be yellow, but you could do whatever color you want. After I've painted all the pieces, I'm going to move on to the tinted glass part of the sunglasses. For this, I'm using thin clear plastic from a food takeout container, and I'm just cutting out a little flat area for that so it's easier to work with. And I need to cut out two, one for each lens. Now my first method for making this, I'm going to be tracing this little lens pattern I made. I don't think I'm going to be making separate patterns for this though, because I think the better way is just to lay down the glasses frame, trace the inside of that frame, and then cut around it one or two millimeters away from the line. That way you'll have some allowance to glue this to the back of the frame. This one that I just traced though already has the allowance, so I'm just cutting on the line exactly. For this pair of sunglasses, I want the tint to be so dark that it basically looks black. I tried a lot of different methods, but the one I decided to go with is just painting one side with black paint. Of course you can't see through them at all, but the overall look is very similar to actual sunglasses. After the first coat, it'll be a little bit see-through, and I want it completely black, so I'm going to do a few more coats. After all these pieces have dried, I can finally just start assembling. I'm going to turn to the back of my sunglasses and grab my lens. And I want to make sure the shiny side is face down, so that's the side I did not paint. And my phone randomly stopped recording things, so I'm just going to have to skip to the end where it's all put together. But I will be doing another pair of sunglasses, so that's where I'll show how to put it all together. But for now, I'm just trying this on my Beanie Boo, and it looks adorable. Mine are staying on pretty well, resting on her snout. But if you want yours to stay on a little better, you can always attach some elastic or just regular string to the ends of the temples. And that way, there's kind of a strap to hold them on, since they're not really hooked onto the ears. But next, I'm doing a different kind of style for a Build-A-Bear inspired by these sunglasses that I have. These are actually the only pair I have, but I love them so much and wanted to use them as inspiration. I'm going to be doing a different method to get this light pink tint. So I'm first grabbing a larger piece of plastic and tracing my lens shape, and I just tried to squeeze them all on one piece. But now I'm going to be using my red washable marker and just coloring all over the shape. I also want a little bit of a brownish color here, so I'm grabbing a brown washable marker and scribbling on that as well. And now I'm going to grab some Mod Podge, but you can use any kind of clear glue, and just swirl it on. And since the markers are washable, it should just mix with the Mod Podge and give it a light tint. Then I'm going to bring that onto the other lens, since I still have some on my brush. After this dries, it'll get even lighter, so I'm going to have to do five or six coats of this. Since I don't want to wash my brush between each coat, I'm just going to be setting it in a container of water while this dries, so the Mod Podge doesn't dry and ruin my brush. After each layer dries, I'm going to repeat this process. After about five or six coats, the tint is pretty dark, so I'm going to stop here, and now I'm just going to cut out that rough lens shape. After that, I just compared it to my pattern, and it was pretty close, so I just stopped here. Now I've already cut out and painted my other pieces, so I can finally show how to put this all together. I'm starting by flipping the frame over and applying glue around the area where the lens is going to be. Then I'm going to paste the lens on top with the smoother side facing down. After that, I added the other one and can move on to adding the temples. I started by folding over the flat end a little bit, and I'm trying to get it to match the other one. Then I'm just applying some glue to the end and sticking it right at that little notch that sticks out of the glasses. And if it sticks out a little too much, you can always kind of tuck it under the lens. For this one, I just let them be on top, and after that, you're done! It obviously looks very different from my actual sunglasses, but I still think it turned out really cute. Of course, I had to pair it with a swimsuit I made for a Build-A-Bear. I really hope you try this out because there are so many different styles to make. 
Please give this video a like and comment any video requests you have. I already have enough ideas for the rest of this year, but I promise I do write down all of these ideas you give. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and want to see more. I'll see you next time.